So nice to see you guys. Uh, my name is Sébastien. I'm from Toulouse, but I work for Microsoft uh, in Paris. I'm a technical evangelist. If you don't, if you want to know more about me, just go to my Twitter, and you will you will see. Uh, because I don't have so much time, I will go through the slides, and after I will make a, a small demo. Okay? Uh, do you know those guys? Maybe one of them. The first one on the left. No? Ready? Come on, guys. It's Brendan H. He's uh, the creator of uh, JavaScript. He made it in two days in, I don't know, 98. Two days for JavaScript. Now you know why you have undefined and null. Uh, and uh, the guy on the right is Anders Esberg. He's uh, a pretty, he's a god, to be honest. He has uh, created uh, Turbos Pascal, Delphi, and C Sharp. And also uh, TypeScript, he's the, the daddy of TypeScript. And uh, he's actually a technical, technical fellow at Microsoft, and he's uh, the leadership, uh, in the leadership team of the, the TypeScript uh, team. Okay, so those guys, those two guys, are the guys who are going to, to, uh, to speak about uh, today in 35 minutes. So I, usually, I made it in one hour, maybe two hours, 35 minutes, it's just a nonsense for me, but okay, go. We're gonna try. JavaScript, you know, the first language in the world, so many framework, uh, jQuery, obviously, uh, React, Angular, Vue, and so on. Everyone in the room has made one day one JavaScript line of code. Yeah, obviously. Even if you make Java, C Sharp, VB, and so on, one day you have worked with JavaScript, right? Is it right? Yeah, obviously. Uh, let's talk about ECMAScript. ES6 is the most important update of JavaScript uh, by Brendan H. But uh, today we want to go faster with the release of uh, uh, new uh, JavaScript uh, uh, features. So uh, ES6 maybe we is a, made it in maybe, I don't know, six years. Now from ES6 we go through one year for every new uh, spec. Why? Because we have browser updated uh, silently with a nighty build and, uh, and flags you can check or not. So it's easier to, uh, to make a new release of uh, a JavaScript. Uh, so you know ES6 ES is ES2015, uh, ES7 is ES2016. So come on, we just we are going to just say yes, six, yes, yes, uh, seven, and yes, eight. Okay? It's too long for Twitter, no? So, Eggmaster evolution, yes, three in uh, this date, uh, yes, five, yes, six, yes, seven, and yes, eight. Don't forget there is no yes, four, because it, they try to make something like yes, seven today. They just uh, gave it, give up and just go directly to ES5. So if someone is talking about ES4, you can just say, hey, come on, you're, you're, you're so wrong. Uh, where we are today? Nice questions. We have ES6, it's released in uh, 2015, two years ago. We have ES7 released one year ago, and tomorrow, maybe in one or two months, we will have the specification of ES8. Each, every time we have a new specification, each browser has to implement it in his browser and maybe take around one year, okay? So ES6 spec in 2015, the spec is today implemented at maybe, I don't know, maybe uh, 93 or 95 percent in all browsers. Do, do, you, do you see the, the first column in the, the left? It's the Internet Explorer. Is everyone, is, is someone uh, in this room uh, working with uh, Internet Explorer? Really? You know what? You know what? I'm really, really sorry. Go, go on edge, you know, it's better. Uh, okay. I will talk a little bit about uh, transpilers, like TypeScript, but the talk is about, we, we can say the same for Babel or, or, 
and so on. So on. Just a quick defini definition about transpiler and compiler. It's a little bit different. Transpiler is just about taking source code and transforming it into another code, but with the same base. TypeScript actually is just a subset of JavaScript, so it's the same base, so we, we, we just say transpiling. Compiling is just to taking source code and transforming into another code. When you talk about compiling in Java with bytecode, it's just another kind of code. With C Sharp, with transforming it into EL, intermediate language, it's just not the same code, so we talk about compiling. You know, there is a compiler for JavaScript. We take a compiler like MScript, it's transforming C++ into JavaScript, so we are compiling to JavaScript, okay? But, you know, every, everyone is, talk, it, it, is saying compiling, so. But now you know. Okay, TypeScript. Who doesn't know TypeScript at all? Really? Come on, it's so, so, so nice. I will show you a quick demo on how it works. So TypeScript is just JavaScript. We say scaling because we, have, we are a subset of JavaScript with uh, type checking, and uh, it comes with a lot of tools that will uh, make you work with your teams a little bit easier. So it's a subset of JavaScript was transpiling to, uh, to plain JavaScript. Obviously, it's JavaScript, so it works on every browser. No, TypeScript, it's just because it's JavaScript. It's open source, go in GitHub, you will see uh, it's uh, enable uh, static types and the feature from today. I will show you why. Here is the evolution of ECMAScript. This is where every developer wants to work today, between ES7 and ES8, with nice features like promises, modules, classes, async await, and so on. This is not JS, it's fairly ES6 implemented today, and for you, this is where you have to work when you are in a, in a development month in your company, okay? This is not so cool for developers, okay? So why I talk about TypeScript is because you can get the gap between your focus, ES3, ES5, and what you can have with ES7 and ES8. Because when TypeScript will transpile your code, it will target uh, NECMAScript uh, version, okay? So just take the best of JavaScript and transpile to your requirements, okay? If you're on the web today, you can target ES, maybe ES6 or ES7. If you are in a company who target Internet Explorer, I'm sorry, you have to uh, check for ES5, okay? And we are going to go through that kind of uh, system every, uh, every ECMAScript release. TypeScript IDE, you can go to uh, uh, any kind of IDE you want. Eclipse, Visual Studio Code, Sublime, and so on, Atom. Uh, we have a lot of releases, so I won't go through all the uh, news that from the, the TypeScript team. Today we are at the 2.3 version. I will show you a demo, it will be more uh, easier to understand. Uh, we'll talk about ES6 and ES7. Do you know, I'm sorry, I didn't, uh, I made the traduction for these French sentences. Do you know the, the most uh, asked uh, features in ES6? Three, three, three features from ES6. No, do you have any ideas? I already said before. No, it's not ES6. Yeah, thank you. It's the first one. Modules, yeah. My grateful, I, I don't have any goodies. So, come on. Promises and classes. Okay, these are three most asked uh, features uh, for JavaScript. You can use it for two years now because ES6 is, two, is uh, uh, 2016. Uh, but we have also other, like, other cool stuff in JavaScript, like iteration, the for let off. Uh, you don't have to make an index uh, with uh, an array and uh, iterate through it. You have the default parameter with uh, a spread and the rest parameter with uh, uh, three dots in your constructor. 
is kind of cool, uh, especially when you make some uh, uh, components. Uh, we have the map and the set. We don't have only array in JavaScript, you know. We have the map, the set. First of all, it's a, it's a unique uh, object like dictionary. In this sample, I, I hope you will you see uh, right uh, correct. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. Is it okay for for you uh, for you all? Sometimes my English is so bad. I, uh, I apologize for that. Uh, and you have uh, uh, the the map. It's a uh, uh, key value uh, dictionary. Okay, so use it. Use them. We have an error function. Who doesn't know what is an error function? Okay, so I will go through it. You see uh, an array of uh, first name. We have the first, the rows point dot map uh, that will return every uh, first name starting with A. So here is a plain JavaScript for ES5. So rows map function the P returns blah, blah, blah. When you go through the arrow uh, function, you can simplify the syntax. First of all, we just delete the function and we just make an equal superior an row, okay, and return, okay? It's much simpler, much easier to understand. And if, you're, if, you, don't, if you have only one uh, line of code in your function, you, got just, you, you can just write something like that. This is an error function. It just sugar syntaxic around uh, plain whole function JavaScript. But for me, it's so simple to understand something like that. Okay? So it is an error function, pretty cool stuff. And uh, by the way, uh, it works uh, uh, work with the, 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 the impossible uh, bug in JavaScript when you have to deal with the, the this context. The error function preserves the this context. Anyway, I will show you uh, a quick demo on that. We have string template with uh, the, the tilde, where you can go and uh, don't have to make plus, 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 blah, blah, blah. It's really uh, simple to, uh, to use. We have classes, obviously. Finally, eventually we have classes for two years today with a static method, setter and getter, constructor, and so on. We have modules, ESM module, ECMAScript module, will come in the next version of ECMAScript and on Node.js. You are, I'm fed up with require, system.js, and so on to, to make module system. Today, uh, tomorrow, we will have real ESM module. I will show you why we have different syntaxes. Okay, async programming, come on. Callback L, everyone knows that when you work with JavaScript. With, CS, with ES6, we have the promises. The promises, well, will, uh, you, you will be able to, to write something really simple to understand and uh, uh, to be able to don't, don't have this uh, async uh, callback hell. Uh, here is, why, here is how you have to write uh, promises in JavaScript with a function, with a reserve and a reject uh, method to call at the end, okay? This is ES6, the most uh, implemented feature you want. With ES7, so one year before, one year uh, before, it was in uh, 2016. So right now in browser, we have maybe uh, around 7 percent implemented in all browsers without the flags enabled okay without the developers mode uh, you have the the JavaScript engine for every browser chakra for edge spider monkey for Firefox v8 for Chrome and JavaScript core for Safari do you know which one is the first JavaScript engine written by Brandon H no Brandon H was the CEO of the Mozilla Foundation and Mozilla, the current browser for Mozilla is Firefox. So the first one, the really first one JavaScript engine is the spider monkey. You can say it. Okay. And finally, yes, seven, after the callback hell, the promises, we have the async await. 
that will make uh, uh, syntactic sugar around the promises. So you, you will have, uh, uh, how can I say that in, uh, in English? You know, it's a little bit complicated for me. Uh, we have, uh, come on, I don't know uh, how to say that. We have um, uh, something really uh, simple to write. You don't have to write uh, promises and then and call function and so on. We have, uh, uh, I'm sorry, I searched my word. Anyway, I will show you uh, a, a demo. Just remember, you have to uh, write your code with an async for the function and you have to call an await when you call actually an awaitable function. ES7 will come with another other kind of cool features, exponential and so on. I will show you a little bit demo on how it works. So I have uh, talked a lot, not too long I hope. I will show you a little, a little demo on how it works, uh, uh, everything of that. So first of all, I have my preferred bash called PowerShell. I'm sorry, I work on Windows. And I will make uh, a demo on how it works with TypeScript and the new features from ECMAScript. Okay, so first of all, I will make a, a directory, so we are Eclipse. EclipseCon sample. Okay, so CD EclipseCon. Okay, is it okay for you all in the, in the back? Okay, cool. So, first of all, I will work with, with Node, but anyway, it's just to show you uh, the, the, the cool features from the last version of JavaScript. So, I will make a, an npm init to have my Nugget package, uh, sorry, npm init, tire f dot, uh, slash, well, tire f, okay, to avoid uh, all that kind of stuff, and I will make a tsc init, tsc is for the TypeScript compiler, he needs uh, config file. Okay. Sometimes it's init, sometimes it's tire, tire init, sometimes you have to make one or two or three. You have to deal with it today. Okay, good. So I will launch my Visual Studio code. This is my IDE. So here is the TS config and here is the package config. You, you see everything? Zoom, like that or like that? The other? Really? Okay, like that? Okay. So I'm at the maximum, you know, I can do more. So here is my package JSON, my TS config, a lot of stuff on the TS config, but you know, just, just option uh, in commentary. It's comments, just comments. So I will make a first file, let's call it uh, person.t. I will make a TS file for TypeScript. Okay? I can use every features I want from JavaScript and ECMAScript. So I will use, uh, I will make a class that I will export, export class, Pearson, okay, with a full name. Uh, it will be a, a string. I mean, I'm, I, I am in TypeScript, so right now I can make a type for my variable. I make a first name. Okay, string, I can make a constructor. That's kind of cool, fn string. Last name string, uh, Twitter. Uh, okay, I have to uh, make a declaration for my Twitter account. String, I can use uh, a pre-declared sentence egal. This is my Twitter. Okay, and I will make uh, uh, my age. Age, it's a number, so my age, don't repeat, it's this one. And I will just tag it as a public, so I make public here, so TypeScript will generate the private field, okay? So it's not mandatory to, uh, to write all of this if you make public, 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 okay? So here we go. There we go. So this dot first name take first name. Come on, guys. This dot uh, full name. Oh, come on. It's not full name. It's it's uh, uh, last name. This dot Twitter. Twitter. And as I said, nothing for age. So here we go. I can 
rename this one, not, not full name, it's first name. It's, not, it's just not uh, search and replace because we have type checking, it will really, oh, come on. Sebastian, come on. It's, uh, uh, it's uh, last name. Yeah, last name. It's just not uh, search and replace. It's really go to through your code and search for the uh, variable uh, last name. I can make a, a get full name function. I will use the new syntax for and so on. Long full name, full name, dollar, these dots, uh, first name, oh, copy past. Obviously, last name and my Twitter. Okay, this is cool. Uh, and I can save. And right now, I can ask for TypeScript to compile, to transpile. So I would. Oh, you have a lot of uh, solution to do that. Gulp file, task, whatever. I can use just a TypeScript compiler with a watch mode. Every time I have a uh, file we will change, I, uh, TypeScript will uh, uh, retranspilling everything. So right now we have a person dodgy, oh, let me just make my zoom, uh, my zoom it tool, okay. Right now we have a person.js file, okay? And if I look at this person.js file, as you can see, we have a closure with a function, with uh, something to uh, construct my Twitter, my age, and uh, the, the affectation of my variables, and uh, the complete uh, string interpolation for the getful name, okay? But you know, this is ES5, and then I don't, I'm sorry, I don't work with Internet Explorer today, I just focus on the last version of the, the, the browsers, so I can go to yes, maybe six or seven, no? So I will just go here and say, no, it's not yes five. Yes, it's yes, maybe yes six. Just saving, the, the file is changing, and here is my new code on my person.js. Okay, right now I have a class. That's why I said you can take all the benefits of the new features and target what you want. Okay, we can continue. So I will target, come on. Yes, yes, uh, oh my God, yes, 2016. Okay, so I will make something cool. We, we talk about promises. We are going to make a new promises. Let me create a wait uh, method. Uh, it will take a number and it will return a promises. I don't know what kind of return we can have, so it's an any, so here we go, so return a new promises, long promises with a, a resolve and reject uh, function, and I will set, set timeout, uh, set timeout with a resolve and uh, my millisecond. Here we go. This is my first promise, okay? Imagine now that my getful name is something who go through a web API. It could make some times. I can have a synchronous getful name, okay? So I will simulate a waiting time, so I have to make something like that. So this dot wait, okay? So maybe two seconds. Then I will get nothing and I will make something like that. But I can't make a return because I am in my promises. So I will just say this is the promises. It will return a string. Okay, and I will make return new promises. Long, oh, come on, rs, rg, tac, tac, function, 
uh, up, I will take all of that in. Okay, and I will make RS the Tusa. All of this. Okay. So yeah, if you have a lot of callback like that, you can maybe not, uh, you, you won't be in a callback head because Promises is a, a, a guarantee against that, but it could be a little bit more complicated. With the async function, with the async version of that, of that oh, first of all, let me show you something. This is my person.js file. If I just target, uh, mm, yes, uh, yes, uh, this one, uh, no, no, that would be yes five. I just want to show you something. Yeah, uh, Twitter, uh, Twitter, <laughs> TypeScript is fair enough for you to take care about this. You know, this in JavaScript, not this in uh, C Sharp or Java. It, uh, uh, it's all about the context where you are. So if you want to use this like you make it, like, like you use it in, uh, in uh, your uh, preferred language, well, you can because TypeScript is taking care of that, okay? So you, you don't know how time I passed with a bug, I didn't. I don't know. I didn't know why. It was just because this was not the this I thought it was. Okay, so uh, TypeScript will take care of you of that. So come on, go through. Yes, uh, this one. So the generation is okay. So and what now? I will go to use uh, the async await version of that. So first of all, we can say. This is a no wait table method because everything related to async await is all about a promise at the beginning of the stack of the stack. Okay, so right now I can say for the getful name, here we go. This is an async method, so I can make something like that. Come on. Okay. Async await up and I will show. I await this to await uh, 2000 and right now return return this. It's so more comfortable to write something like that instead of promises, okay? And the code generated for me, it's await and ascend because I target the next version is ES to uh, ES8. But if I target ES7, what you have to do today when you develop for the web, you will see that we will generate something a little bit more complicated. It's just a, gen a code generation about using generators. Generator is something like that. You see here a function with uh, this symbol. Okay, this is a generator in JavaScript. And when you use a generator, you can use the yield method. If you know C Sharp, you know what is yield. If you know Java, I don't know anything about Java. I'm sorry. But maybe you have something like yield in Java, I don't know. Someone? A Java expert? No? Okay, so yield is it's something like you, you, are, you make a for each, and the yield will uh, go out the scope and get back when you ask for it. So it's pretty much the same, it's, uh, but uh, you know, uh, the async await is, uh, is based on this kind of, uh, of method. Okay, so I don't care uh, of uh, what uh, ECMAScript uh, version I, I, uh, I use, it's okay, it works. Right now I make a new file, app.ts, okay, I will make an import, import from my person, okay. Oh, I have the IntelliSense, so I don't have made a mistake on my uh, string. Par pig have new person, so it will be me. And it would be this one. Okay, console.log p.get full name. Okay, 
So I will use my Node.js server to show you the results. So I will make uh, just a F5. I will ask to uh, launch my project, but you know, VS Code is not is sometimes magic, but here it doesn't know what file I have to uh, to, uh, to launch. So uh, I will say I can say app.js. I will just say you uh, this uh, this syntax. Just say the selected file. Okay. So I will be here in app.js. It had five and it doesn't work. I know it doesn't work. Okay. Why? Because it's app.js. I have to to start. Okay. So go to app.js and here we go. I just made. And it's not working. Come on, why? I made a mistake on my code. Get full name is a weighted bug, it's a promises, so we'll make something like that. The full name from await p dot get full name. When you make an await method, you have to be in an async method. So I can't launch it from the roots. So I will make an async method. So anonymous method, up, blah, blah, tag, up, up, console.log, this one. Okay, here we go, and I will just launch it. Nah, 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 nah. Nah. Okay, so here we go. Make it a try. One second, two seconds, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I have a bug actually. Console.log, uh, wait, get full name. Uh, oh, okay, I had a bug. So, is my compiler, yeah? Okay, so make it one last try. One, two, Okay, this is not working. Uh, I will go through it. I will show you how I can debug something like that. So maybe, maybe you can we can say something like that. Like var fn uh, wait get full name console dot fn. So right now, I have to start on app.js, but I can say something better. I will make the correlation between the TS script and the JavaScript file. So I have to say to, T, to TS script to generate something we, we, ca we call source map. Here we go, I have a new file, source map here. Oh, sorry. Here. If you, if you read this file, don't try to understand what it means. I tried several times. I never understand, okay? But not really important. And I will say to my VS Code to use this source map. Source map, true, okay, I save. So right now, I can make a start not on the GS file, but on the TS file. And I can have a debug point. So I can debug my code. Come on, oh, okay. We are just here. Okay, let's give a try again. So, oh, say, I found. I make a closure, but I didn't call it. Okay, right now we can try, yeah. So first name, one, two, okay. So I have the first name, I have the debug information about my variable here with the age, and so on. You can add watcher, you can add spies, and, and so on. And I hope this time it will work. Yeah. This is my Twitter. Come on. Okay? So it was just a really straightforward sample to show you how you can use TypeScript and JavaScript and take the best of the, of the JavaScript uh, features. Okay, to tomorrow we will be in uh, ES, I don't know, ES next. So 
here is you uh here is you 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 here we go here is your la you your next version of your javascript code so it's kind of the same code as i write today in typescript okay so do not hesitate to use typescript okay how much time do you have, Diana, do you have is, is it is it over or i don't know let me check my talk at uh, well uh, right now oh come on I have so much stuff to show you okay so I have uh, 46 slides to show you in about well five seconds so you will have all my slides on slide share so you can go through it I have made this conference in French on YouTube so you will find it easily if you type my name, I'm uh, really happy to show you uh, this uh, little demo. And if you have any question, I will be happy to answer them. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. The little uh, syntax because you know JavaScript is someone very comprehensive so you just try to transpile and uh, I think I, I, uh, I had a, a version before who, who transpiled correctly so he used this version okay but I think I uh, let me check yeah okay so you know it hey you forget semicolon, so come on, it's okay for me, but you know it's, it's a problem. Okay, any other questions? Thank you very much, have a nice day.